Taiwan is Canada's 13th largest trading partner globally and its fifth largest trading partner in Asia. But did you ever think that behind all these dry statistics lies delicious food? Grain-fed beef from Canada has a unique flavor that many Taiwanese enjoy. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang recently joined the Canadian Trade Office in Taipei Deputy Director Derry McDonald for a Canadian dinner. Let's hear more about what they chatted about. The chef pan fries the Canadian ribeye beef medium rare, then chops the meat with a sauce made from horseradish. This is the main dish pan seared Canadian ribeye served with seasonal vegetables and horseradish sauce. Canada is the second largest country in the world, boasting a vast hinterland, rich water resources, grasslands, and mountains. Canadian Trade Office in Taipei Deputy Director Derry McDonald says that Canada uses grain to raise cattle, which gives Canadian beef a uniquely tender taste. We're quite proud of Canadian beef. Uh, it's very good, very good quality. Um, uh, what's unique about Canadian beef is uh, it's uh, grain-fed, so it's uh, quite flavorful. Um, and it's reasonably priced and um, uh, quite healthy. Uh, we don't have, uh, for example, in Canada, a uh, high degree of um, growth hormones or steroids or that kind of thing. So um, it's really a good choice. It kind of hits that sweet spot for, for, for beef. The lobster is alive, so we're going to boil the lobster. There's also this dish, Canadian Atlantic lobster and bisque. The chef first boils the fresh Canadian Atlantic lobster for seven to eight minutes. Then the chef unshells the lobster. The bisque is boiled with lobster head, onions, vegetables, carrots, basil, and lemon leaves. Canada is a large supplier of seafood for Taiwan from the Atlantic Ocean. This includes lobster, crab, flounder, shrimp, shellfish, and more. The Canadian Trade Office in Taipei and a hotel have partnered to launch a month-long Canadian food festival in Taiwan's capital until March 31st. We've got a month-long uh, Canadian food uh, promotional event going on uh, here at the hotel and it'll uh, be on until the end of March where a number of Canadian dishes and ingredients are being featured, whether it's beef or seafood or even some Canadian desserts, um, classic Canadian snacks, if you will. Canadian lobster is harvested um, at a particular time of the year when um, the lobster is, um, uh, has not um, shed its skin uh, into a new shell. And so the gap in, in between the, the meat and the shell is, is narrow. It's, it's not full of water. So when you buy a Canadian lobster, um, you're getting as much meat as possible from the animal, um, and that's a, a nice feature as well. It's According to data from Taiwan's Bureau of Foreign Trade, Canada's exports to Taiwan reached 2.52 billion U.S. dollars, and Taiwan's exports to Canada amounted to 3.3 billion U.S. dollars last year. To further strengthen ties, Canada and Taiwan on February 7th began negotiations for a foreign investment promotion and protection arrangement. The two sides are planning to officially launch formal talks this April. The trade agreement seeks to safeguard existing investments as well as strengthen trade and investment ties in the future. The primary purpose of, of AFIPA really is to provide um, investors with reassurance that the, their uh, investments in either location are going to be protected and it's a stable investment environment. We've seen a lot of growth in bilateral trade with Taiwan. Um, this past year, 2022, we saw a 20% 20, 20 uh, increase in um, bilateral trade with Taiwan. And that's on top of 30% growth uh, the year before. Uh, so uh, business is booming between Canada and Taiwan, and um, uh, we're really happy about that. Taiwan is Canada's 13th largest trading partner globally, and its fifth largest trading partner in Asia. The two countries hope that the proposed deal can further strengthen the two sides' partnership in the Indo-Pacific. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Guo Wenhai in Taipei.